So this is my capstone project. So the summary of this project. So it's about me, the benefits of mental strength in cricket, my mentor, the process, and the results. So about me. Um, as you guys all know, I'm Aryan. And I'm, I'm graduating in 2020. Um, I don't think we're having a ceremony, but it's okay. I'm attending SFU after post-secondary. Um, and kinesiology, I forgot, you know, I've been all clueless these days. So currently I'm a BC cricket player, and in the future, I would love to become an international player. So that's beyond my main goals. So a quote which I have carry with, my, with myself, or it's always with me, is life is very short, always be happy. So that's how I see life. Like there'll be things which will make you sad, negative things around you, but just over time, I don't think about it. Be positive, let things come to you. So the benefits of mental strength in cricket. Right here. So the benefits of mental strength in cricket. So more focus. More focus meaning that once you have the mental strength, when you know when you know yourself and your game, you just makes everything a lot more clear and a lot more easier. So another thing is self belief. So once you are, uh, once you have the mental strength to be the best player or a good player, you it increases your self belief to go out there and do something special. You know, you can ask anyone who plays sports that once you have the self belief to do something, it just makes everything a lot easier. Yeah, and a lot better. So just like that, mental strength also gives you a lot more confidence. So once you're confident, you know your game, you know you're the best, you can do things, like special things. And yeah, so better attitude. What I mean by better attitude is that mental strength gives you, it's like a responsibility or something where you respect yourself, you respect the game, gives you a better attitude. You see the game differently, you can play the game differently. A lot of things just work out. And finally, it results in a better performance. So when you have mental strength, everything's working out. You can play well, everything. So cricket's a type of sport where um, if you don't play, if you're doing well, you keep doing well. But if you start doing bad, you start doing, like, it keeps getting worse. So, like, mental strength can help you increase your confidence and just make you a better person and just increase your, change your performance, I guess. Yeah. So my mentor. My mentor, uh, this one's funny, so I'll be sure you this. So, my mentor is my brother. So, uh, we don't really get along and things like that, but it, something that we get along quite often is cricket. Um, I chose my brother as a mentor because he's a cricket player, just like me, and he stopped playing cricket due to mental health problems. So, it's funny, but yeah. So my brother was one of the best players I'd see. Like I remember all my teammates, all my coaches ever said how how special my brother was. And I've seen it. And we we've had a lot of good games together where we had won games for our teams, right? But I think just a few years back where like maybe a lot of pressure and just not taking a break, just, just playing, put a lot of pressure on him. Where he, then he started having problems with his own teammates with me, with opposition, we were in, like, everything was getting just, I, I was able to see the change in him, like, it led to a season where he was having a bad performance and everything messed up, and it resulted in him quitting the sport, like, he's, he said he couldn't just handle that, so I chose my brother as my mentor, as I wanted to learn what he went through, so I was, when I told him about the capstone project, he was telling me, okay, I can, and, you know, we were having discussions, you know, uh, I kept asking him, but he never told me about it. So what he told me is that I can't teach you, you have to learn it on your own. So it was a process where I was learning my own things, but at the same time I had his help. So it was, yeah. So something that I really learned from him, or an advice that he gave me, was that whenever I felt stressed, whenever I felt a lot of pressure from the game or people, was to take a, take, was to take a break and just stay away from the game. And I don't know, I was not ready to take that because I love the sport. And like anyone who knows me that I love cricket more than anything else. And I was not ready to take a break or step away, step away from the game. But I 
learned that if you step away from the game, it just gives you a moment where you're not thinking about the game. It just freshens you up and you're able to come back stronger and yeah. And that was, it felt good. So the process, so this was not easy. It took me whew, a while, man. So this capstone project we're supposed to be doing for two years, right? So for me, this has been a goal within myself for the last three, four years. So the capstone project and my life goal happen to be the same. So it all started yeah, two, three years back, right? As you can see right here. So this capstone project or this goal of finding better mental strength started three, four years ago when I had a terrible season. Like I just gave up. Like I didn't know what to do. I was lost like this. I've never had a season like that, right? And then I realized that there's something called mental strength. It's like you don't you don't develop that overnight. It takes time, it takes experience and everything. So it's a journey that I'm, you know, I don't think I'm, I don't think the journey ends yet, keeps going. And I think that's the special thing. It's a beautiful feeling. So the process of my mental strength, I can, I can tell you about that. So it's weird, it's things that I've never done and people who know me know that. So that I started reading about the benefits of mental strength. I hate reading, I absolutely hate reading. I find it absolutely boring. But for some reason I found it so interesting about reading mental strength. I was able to read for hours and hours and I was like, wow, I was making connections and I was it's just helping me even without me knowing it. Then I tried yoga and meditation and this was all my life. I hated yoga, man. And every time I tried yoga and something, I just fell asleep. I was so boring for me. But then I just realized how helpful it was. Then. I learned how to control my anger and use aggression instead. So in games, when like people around me or my opposition just like tries to go at me, I used to get mad, and I, I already react or I react in a way. I do something stupid and I just get out and I just blame myself. So it's mental strength. When you have the mental strength, when you're able to control yourself, it's special. Like so, when there's people going at me. I just take it with myself, and instead of Using as anger, I just use as aggression in my game, and I play along with it. And it, I don't know how it's working, but it's just really helping me a lot. The another one that I always did, but I maybe realized a lot, it was a lot more important, was taking deep breaths whenever I felt stress. Because you know, playing such high competitive leagues, a lot of games where you just have a lot of pressure on yourself, just take the the easiest thing you can do is just take a deep breath. Just like that. Everything feels better. Everything feels easier. Yeah. Then I was watching, I started watching videos on how professional players handle uh, mental health problems. So recently, an Australian cricket player called Glenn Maxwell was one of my favorite players. He took a break from cricket due to mental health problems. So this was very inspiring, very new to me because I thought mental... Because people don't want to like say that they have mental health problems just because of cricket, right? So it was I was able to relate to that, and so the player he said that he was just hating his life. He was not able to spend time with family because he was just so into cricket, there's so much pressure on him, and the doctor advised him to take a break or else it would lead to fewer, further problems. So that's something that I have on myself. So whenever I play, whenever I felt stress. Or I felt like things are just not working out. Now, I uh, told myself that I will take a break. I'll just step away from the game. Just think about something else. Be relaxed. And just come back a lot more fresh and everything. Um, then I started working out, training. Um, I train, anyone who knows me knows that I have, a, I have a great upper body strength. And my lower body is not that strong. So my main focus has been on my lower body and I just see this difference, man. man. I can run, I can run fast, I can just, I don't get tired. Like if you're playing a game today and we have a game tomorrow, like if the game, by the day, by the day's over, my legs are done and I don't think I can play the game tomorrow with all my energy. And now I see the difference that where there's so much energy in me, there's so much positivity or whatever it is, 
like I can give 110% out there today and I can play tomorrow with just the same energy and that's insane it's just I do not believe that I could do this but it's a journey where I evolved within time so I took the videos of my trading and videos which are posted at the PowerPoint that you guys can watch so everything that I learned which is like the deep breath taking time off yoga um, not reacting to things and just taking it with myself whatever I learned it, over the last three four years I just put that into myself so this year we had two games before the season was canceled and just two games I just saw a difference in me and I was, I was just so a lot more within myself I was not worrying about things around me and it just felt so good so yeah so here is the video right here of my tr uh, training session and my workout session which you guys can see on the powerpoint which I have like, attached so the results <coughs> right here this one's funny. Give me one sec. So there's results. As I said, this journey did not start two years or just... I didn't do this because I wanted to finish my capstone project or anything, right? Um, this has been within myself. My life depends on cricket. There's nothing else in my life other than cricket. So in order for me to be the best player, or to be the best person that I can be I realized that I had to develop mental strength you know before I did not think that you could so I thought cricket is just about skills you don't need mental strength all that kind of thing was just a phase but I realized there's a lot of importance in mental strength having mental strength it helps you cope up with a lot of things just not in cricket even in life when you have it allows you to make better decisions and all of those kind of things so I learned a lot about myself through the Crapstone project as I've been very lazy about things other than cricket. Like when and it's about cricket, I can do anything. I can wake up at three in the morning watch a game. I can stay up all night watch a game. There's not but like other things I I'm very lazy. Anyone who knows me knows that. But for this project, you know, I went out of the way. I focused just on finishing this project because my goal it's about cricket, man. Anything related to cricket, I'm able to put in that extra effort, and that's amazing. I felt so. So a few years back, I realized that in order to become the best version of myself, I had to develop mental strength, and that's how this whole journey um, started. And I don't think this journey is over here. It keeps going because you have to. There will be, for sure, there will be a stage in my life or a career where I would have a tough time where things don't go my way. Where uh, whatever I learned so far, I think it will help me and put me in a better position. It's come, like this mental health problem has come to me very early in my career or in my life. So it gives me a better way or better chance to cope up with it. So <clears throat> now I can say that I have what it takes to be the best player out there. So it wasn't easy. It took a lot of time, you know, there's days where I just did not want to go out or do things that, you know, but I told myself, I can do this. This is within me. I can pull this off. You know, I see, I can see this change, you know, when I'm playing, I can see how my bat spins, everything it just feels so special to me. Um, yeah, so I also, these are my few of my trophies that I have. There's a lot more, but right here. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. These are trophies I had. I just kept them there. You know, I've been just so passionate about the game and you know, everything just goes right. These are my gloves. You know, like I just take care of them. Everything that I have, anything you know, I keep in my whole room, everything in my messy but everything you know, related to cricket, I just keep it safe. Yeah. So I would also like to thank uh, my coach, my mentor, which is my brother, Miss Wu, Mister Shorehouse, and everyone who has been part of this. You know, I do not think that I could pull it off, but 
I somehow managed to and you know very surprised but happy at the same time. So my advice for anyone out there is that anything is possible if you are ready to put the time in. So like I said, two things that I always go with is what I tell myself is that self-belief and hard work will always earn you success. So like put the time in, always believe in yourself, work hard, anything will happen. You can do anything you want in life. So I hope this helps you in some sort of way some sort of way inspires you, motivates you, and gives you a better understanding of who I am. So that's all.